Senior joined AVPA in 2017 after several years of work in communications, product promotions, and brand management. She holds a master's degree in international project management from UPEC and a master's in economics from Sud University in Paris. She graduated from Ural State Technical University in Sverdlovsk, Russia. Thanks again for joining the TBiz podcast this year. See, now I'm excited about ABPA's ever-expanding role in tea and delighted to learn that the organization will host a live award ceremony on November 4th at the Salon Equip Hotel in Paris. Will you remind listeners of AVPA's mission and its several contests? AVPA, Agency for Valorization of Agricultural Products. It's an agency dedicated to promoting the recognition and appreciation of high-quality agricultural products from around the world. Our mission is to support producers who focus on excellence and unique artisanal production methods. AVPA organizes several prestigious competitions that spotlight exceptional products. First competition is World Edible Oils, including olive and other vegetable oils rewarding those that demonstrate excellence in flavor and production. Second contest is Coffee Roasted at Origin, celebrates the best coffee from various regions, highlighting the unique flavors and cultivation methods from coffee beans producing countries. Chocolate Elaborated at Origin, this contest recognizes high-quality chocolate products from the cacao bean producing countries. And the fourth contest is Teas of the World. This competition helps producers gain international recognition and contribute the global appreciation of their products. The World of Teas contest, now in its seventh edition, utilizes traditional and gastronomic judging. Will you explain? I would like to explain you the difference between gastronomic judging and traditional judging. In traditional judging, typically teas are judged based on industry standards, which include factors such as leaf appearance, infusion color, aroma, taste, and aftertaste. The focus is on uniformity and adherence to traditional expectation for each type of tea with an emphasis on technical precision and consistency. Teas are often tastes in a standardized manner, with judges looking for specific markers that denote quality according to established norms. In contrast, gastronomic judging by VPA emphasizes the sincere experience and the overall pleasure derived from tasting the tea. It values uniqueness, creativity, and the ability of each tea to offer a memorable experience. The focus on the cultural and culinary richness of the tea, celebrating distinctive flavor and aroma. The process is quite different also because we have two type of jury. The first is a technical jury. This is the specialist in the tea field. And the second part is the judges, gastronomic judges, often coming from diverse culinary background, taste tea in a more relaxed, sensory driving manner. They assess how the tea engages the palate evoke emotions and how it might pair with food. The gastronomic approach by AVPA allows for a broader appreciation of tea, acknowledging their place in the wide context of gastronomy and culture, rather than just a commodity product. This method is particularly beneficial for artisanal 
and specialty teas, which may not fit into traditional categories, but offer unique and exceptional experiences. Will you describe how competitors benefit? Every tea entered is a winner, given the rigors of selecting and preparing their best tea and telling its story. Participating in MVP tea contest offers multiple benefits for winners and participants. First of all, it's a marketing advantage. Winners gain a powerful marketing tool by being associated with the prestigious MVP contest and MVP organization. This recognition can help increase visibility and credibility in the marketplace, attracting more customs and partnerships. Awarded teas receive official AVPA seals, which can be displayed on the product packaging. These seals serve as a mark of quality and excellence, distinguishing the products from competition and making them more appealing to discerning consumers. It is also a recognition for your team. Winning or even participating in the contest provides a sense of accomplishment and pride for the tea producers and their teams. It's a way to celebrate their hard work and dedication boosting moral and motivation. The contest is also a benchmarking for a tea producer. The VP contest offers a unique opportunity for tea growers to compare their products with those of others in the same industry. This benchmarking helps producers understand where they stand on terms of quality and innovation and provides insights for future improvements. In this contest, everyone wins. Beyond the awards, the process of selecting producers' best tea, preparing it for the contest, and crafting its story is an enriching experience. It encourages tea growers to reflect on their practices, celebrate their heritage, and share their passion with the international audience. The experience itself is valuable, as it forces growth, learning, and recognition, making every participant a winner. In recent years, AVP has sought to identify and bring attention to growers in less well-known parts of the world. Outreach includes travel to producing countries and meetings with growers to explain the contest. Will you describe your target regions in 2024? Not only tea producers, but also the herbal tea producers could participate in at AVPA contest. This year, AVPA efforts have included trips to some countries in Africa, Latin America, and Asia. These trips involve meeting with the local producers, explaining the contest and encouraging participation to help bring global attention to their unique teas and herbal teas. Countries like Peru, Colombia and Laos have been K-targeted, aiming to showcase the diverse and rich tea cultures outside the traditional tea powerhouses. There are some countries like Ivory Coast also was targeted to showcase some of their herbal teas. The judges are highly skilled and thorough in their evaluation. Will you share a tip or two for entering the competition on what it takes to win? We greatly acknowledge the dedication and expertise of AVPA judges. Their process involves a meticulous and thoughtful evaluation of each product, tea or herbal tea, considering not just its technical qualities, but also its gastronomic appeal and the story behind it. The judges come from diverse backgrounds, 
including expertise, sensory analysis, gastronomy, ensuring a well-rounded assessment. For those aspiring to win, a few tips include please highlight uniqueness, emphasize the distinctive qualities of your product, of your tea or your herbal tea or your blend, whether it's a unique flavor profile, an innovative production method, or a rich cultural heritage. Please focus on quality and consistency. Ensure that the product you submit represents the best of what you offer. Also, don't forget, a VPA tasting is a blind test, so your product will not be judged by its design of the packaging. Remember, entry forms with samples must be received in Paris by September 30th. Visit avpa.fr slash ease, T-H-E-S, for details. Produced by Audavita Studios. Connect your voice to the world.